Hey y'all, it's Chloe and we're back with another video. So, you guys, <laughs> I'm kind of tired, okay? So let me just tell y'all. I decided that I'm just going to talk about Haley and Jacob because they're the only one who brought something new to the table, okay? Outside of, you know, Virginia not wanting to stop drinking, still want to sleep on men's couches. Eric still want to, you know, have her stay at home and understand that this is what married people do, okay? Okay? And he's a little bit of control in this, but it's really not control in this. It's him just wanting, you know, her to grow up, <clears throat> Outside of Ryan still ain't giving, you know, um, Clara none and her not being honest about the fact that she ain't getting none. Nothing new. Okay. Nothing new. Nothing, nothing new. She don't, she's not being honest about how she feels about not getting sex. She keeps saying, I'm going at your pace. I'm going at your pace. But then she says something totally different to everybody else. So in that case, I'm tired of talking about it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Um, outside of Brie. And um, Vincent actually opening up a little bit more to each other, okay? And we realizing why he's so frugal with his money, okay? He ain't had nothing growing up, and he want to have something to give to his children, so he's trying to save some pennies, and I understand it. I get it, okay? We understand that Brie, you know, has some... Um, issues with the color of her skin growing up and that's nothing new to anybody okay i'm not saying that i don't want to talk about it because i really really feel like it needs to be talked about i'm just saying i don't feel like talking about it okay not right now but i totally understand the fact that um she wasn't comfortable in her skin because of many many dark skin girls deal with that on a daily basis and i'm glad that she expressed it to the world i'm glad that she overcame it and understand that her black is beautiful okay the black of the berry the sweet of the juice okay so i'm happy for that conversation but because Haley and Jacob brought us something new, I feel like I need to discuss it and I need to drag Haley just a little bit, okay? Yes, I understand that Jacob don't make it easy to talk to, okay? He's boring and she's boring. And maybe she's boring because she don't like him and he's boring. And that's okay or whatever the case may be. But what we not going to do is let Haley sit up here and downplay Jacob's attempt to let them make this relationship work. We're not going to do that, Okay? So, let's just go over this a little bit. Jacob asked Haley, what would she say um, to herself before she went and got married, okay? She says, I would say, calm down, okay? You don't know what's on the road ahead of you. And she asks him the same question. Jacob takes a pause, and she's like, no, just tell me. Like, he like, <laughs> no, just tell me, just tell me. And I thought to myself automatically, you don't want to hear what Jacob got to say because I thought Jacob was going to be like, don't do it, okay? Do not fall for it. It's not worth your time or your energy. But that's not what he said, okay? He said, I would tell myself to take the bracelet that I brought you back. Okay, Haley's like, oh, the bracelet. I told you what happened with the bracelet. Now, here we go, y'all. We keep going through these scenes because we didn't know about this bracelet and how big of a deal Jacob felt about it, okay? Because he'd been telling her that he felt some way about that bracelet for the longest, okay? And instead of her just saying, oh, I, she, well, wait, hold on, y'all, because she, she was like, oh, I told you where the bracelet is. The bracelet is with my mama. And I'm sitting here like, first of all, Haley, let me just make this clear to you. The day you got married when that man sent you a bracelet that for one you thought was a necklace because you was like, oh, it's a nice necklace. And he was like, it's a bracelet. Shows that you ain't even pay attention to it, okay? Let's just make that clear. You probably didn't like it and that's okay if you didn't like it. But the simple fact that the man, before you even met him, before you even knew you probably wasn't going to like him, you didn't even put it on to wear to your wedding okay let me tell you something i don't care if it don't match my dress or do match my dress if my soon-to-be husband sends me a gift before my wedding okay literally before i walk down the aisle i'm going to put it on he brought it okay he said he spent eight hundred dollars on this dag on bracelet eight hundred dollars but no 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 Haley gotta say but you ain't wearing the hat that i bought you the hat Haley. the hat the 20 the 20 dollar hat seriously compares to the 800 dollar bracelet I need you to make it make sense because he has been wearing every last piece of clothing that you bought him. He, we saw Jacob wear every piece of clothing, them, all them daggone shirts when you was trying to change him. We saw him wear it and you want to bring up a stupid hat. No, that's what we're not going to do because they don't compare. 
Jacob is like, I'm not even mad that you don't wear it. I'm mad that you don't even have it in your possession. He's more mad at the fact that she didn't give an F about it. She left it wherever it was and her mama got it, okay? Dr. Pepper tries to get Haley to understand that she is so selfish, okay? She hasn't shown any empathy, sensitivity, anything to this relationship since she got here. She keep thinking she trying I'm trying. No, you're not. Okay, the reason why Jacob shut down and don't want to talk to you and keep calling you out on your BS because you sit there and act like your SHIT don't stink. That's the problem that I'm facing with Haley, okay? Instead of taking responsibility, like um, Dr. Pepper said, she want to keep playing tip the tat. Oh, but he ain't wearing a hat. Get out of here with that stupid hat because I don't want to hear about it. No, I don't. Okay, then what pisses me off even more is that the girl got the nerve to get on the phone with her mama, okay? She got the nerve to get on the phone with her mama and go back and forth with the mama like, oh, he mad about a bracelet. Oh, he mad about a bracelet. And her mama like, well, I could drive it up there if I have to. Well, you should have been did that. You should have been did that. You and your mama, both tacky. Both disgusting. And now I see why Haley acts the way she acts, okay? She acts entitled. Like, everything has to be uh, about her, which is why she's single, which is why she came on Married at First Sight, and which is why she's going to be divorced. I don't understand where they find these people at, honey. The reason this marriage has fell is because of you. Jacob be trying. I mean a little bit. But you ain't giving him much to work with. Then the girl got the nerve to catch a fit over the fact that she wasn't winning in mini golf. She really got in her feelings, y'all. She was really mad because she wasn't winning in mini golf. I guess I got to let you win some. Oh, no, that's cheating. Oh, no, that's not fair. Girl, you don't want everything y'all done play, and it's supposed to be for fun. But instead of letting it just be fun, you really got to get in your feelings. I am so over Haley, y'all. Okay, I don't know where they found these people at, but they working on my last everlasting nerve. <laughs> okay, and that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all this. They not going to make it, okay? It doesn't matter what happens. She don't want it. She don't want it. She don't want it. And just be honest about the fact that you don't want it. Give that man back his bracelet. Or give him his $800 back. Oh, have your mama come drive the bracelet back up here to him. Do whatever you got to do to make the situation right. I feel bad for Jacob because Jacob is not the most entertaining, fun, outgoing man. I, um, I admit that, okay? I admit that. But she, she's a B-I-T-C-H. And he keep calling her out on it because he tired of the BS. And I'm tired of the BS. And Dr. Pepper tired of the BS. We all tired of the BS that Haley want to portray. Okay, girl, I'm trying. Girl, bye. Take a seat. Sit down. Sit down again. And shut up at it while you at it. But yeah, that was something new. So I felt like we needed to talk about it. <laughs> if y'all really, 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 really want to hear what I got to say about Eric and Virginia, let me know. If y'all really, 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 really care about what I got to say about Ryan and Clara, let me know. And if you really, really, really care about what I have to say about um, Vincent and Brianna, let me know, y'all, because the episode could have been better, okay? Just like the title could have been a little better. It could have been a little better. And I'm not about to waste my time and go through this whole episode where half of us was sleep in the chat. We was, we, we was having more fun in the chat than we was watching the show, <laughs> okay? And that's just that on that. Once again, I thank you all for joining me in the chat. It was lit, super lit, as always. I appreciate you all. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Oh, y'all, we, we about to be on the road to 400, okay? Okay, I think we had 3,200 3, um, or something. So we about to be on the road to 4K, and I'm here for all of it. So let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. And I will see y'all with a Ready for Love review later on tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, absolutely tomorrow. Peace.